Oh, what's up, guys? It is me, Deli FB here, and uh, welcome, welcome to my room. Uh, this is where this is where I use my computer right here, and uh, I like to make beats. And it is so uh, I'll let you guys like how I make my beats, my music, and uh, I'm. All right, enough talking. Let's start my making. All right, so let me see. All right, so let me choose a kick out of my sample pack coming soon. All right, let me see. So. Right there, basic, basic kick beat right there. Let me put the kick right there. All right, now let me let me get a snare. So I'm gonna use this one, and uh, I'm also use uh, another one. Right there, right there. All right. So I got this snare, these snares. Um, I like the combination of these two snares because it's it sounds super nice. It sounds like. No, nah, I don't even know what that was. All right, start over. All right, see, we got a. All right, so we got a basic drum beat right here. All right, so uh, let me. Um, I like to start with the synth. I'm gonna put this synth, but I'm gonna lower it down. Bass, just lower it down because it's too loud. All right, so let me see if I can come up with the co progression. All right. Okay. Hold on, I gotta get all these wires out of the way, dude. Good. All right, so let me see. I'm gonna go four, six, and then two. Yeah, so I'm gonna do four, six, two. Let's see how that sounds. All right. They go good so far. Nah. All right. Hold on, guys. I'm almost done. All right. Hold on. All right, so I'm gonna do my chord progression right now. Okay, so I recorded my progression. Okay, so that's good. All right. I quantized it because on the drop on the drop notes, I like to have it quantized, but I, I purposely like it like strum to to give that human playing feeling when I'm using like a rose, when I'm using like a rose or a key or something. All right, so in, ca in case you guys are wondering how I do my chords, look, I'm gonna make a chord right now. So this is how I do my chords. All right, so in case you guys are wondering how I do my chords, I, I just put the unison to seven. That's, the I'm almost done. Uh, I, I just down I downloaded a, a custom tables and uh, I like the hybrid trap right here. I, I like the way it sounds. But what it is, it's just like a, it's like a saw, but like, like with, I don't know, like a saw with a sign or something. I don't know, y'all. All right, so I also like the custom guy, the custom chain smokers. And um, let me see if I can find it. It's like a square. Oh, guys are, guys are right here. It's like a square. You see how it's like a square? Hold on, let me play it. See? It's basically just like a square, but like mixed up. And it looks like that. So right there, I like the way that sounds right there. So I pitch the unison up to right there. Bam. And that's it. That's it. That I, I know it's not much, but that's the, that's it I'm using. Oh, and also like a white noise right there, like a white noise too. All right, let me see. Where's the bright white? Where's the bright white right there? All right, that's it. So let me put that in my beat. Let's see how it sounds. Welcome back. All right. Oh, let me um let me add a little bit of release. Perfect. Perfect, guys. All right. So I'm gonna put an LFO on this. I made presets earlier too. Delia B LFO shapes for LFO tool. Um, they're just basic shapes. I might give it away. All right. So I got this right here. Um, so what it is is basically just like like. Hold on. It's it's just this. It's just that. Like that. And um, I, I I experimented with some cutoff and I put cutoff too. It's, it's not much, it's just a little bit of cutoff. So I made that earlier today, um, just, just to make it faster, because I like it, so I just did it just so I can click on it and then, all right, so let's see.
All right, so now I'm gonna do so now I'm gonna do side chain. Um, this is how I side chain. I just put it here. Now I go to fruity limiter to to side chain because I, I do the I do the compression way. So I do the kick right here, compression side chain side chain here, and then I do the ratio here. Like that. Maybe maybe add a little bit of reverb. All right, now the parametric. Let's go EQ this. So right there. That's how I EQ. All right. So now let me add a hi hat. Low, right there. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna just go like that. Just one. What is that? Wait, is that like a? I don't know. What, so I'm a. I, I'm a stereo enhance this. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, excuse me. I, I ate pupusas earlier, dude. Those are good, y'all. My mom's pupusas are the best, bro. All right. So um, I just stereo enhance it. That's it. Like that. So I just did that. And now um, I lower it down because because originally it's too loud. So I lower it down. Alright, so what I do, I select the hi-hats too and make it a little bit off tempo. Just like that, off tempo. Just a little bit like that. Alright, so I'm going to call these chords. All right, so now I'm gonna add a bass and 808. I only have two so far in my pack. Uh, I only have two, but I'm gonna use this one. Um, soon I'm gonna I'm gonna put more in these. All right, so. All right, so what is this? Oh, I got it, y'all. <laughs> I got it. All right, all right, all right. So let me put the 808 right here. All right, so what's the chord progression? What is that? Something's not right. Did you just? Do you guys hear that? Yep. Cause I no nope, delete the F. All right. I'm gonna transpose it up a little bit. I'm gonna transpose it to C minor because I feel like the 808 is too low. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So I, I just transposed it. All right. So let me see. Okay, I'm looking for like a distorted bass kind of. So I'm gonna use fruity fast distortion. I'm gonna go to default because I don't know what I just did. Alright. Alright, so I just distorted it. So now this is this is how the uh, this is how the bass sounds. Yeah, hello? When it's distorted, I, I I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more. So we were almost there guys. Alright, so now for my master, um, I use Fruity Fab Filter. Not Fruity Fab Filter, what is it? The Fab Filter, yeah, it's just Fab Filter. Alright, so I just do it like that. I put the gain up like, no, no, no. I like to have it clipping, but only a little bit, alright? Too much clipping, it sounds horrible. Well, I guess you can use it sometimes, but I just like to have it around 12 dB. Like more thumpy. All right, I don't want to use this kick because you hear that? like that little high thing. All right, let me see. All right, so I found a better kick. So I, I I like to have it clipping only a little bit because I like it wet. I like to have it, it, it like makes my kick thumpy. Like it makes it more thumpy and it, and it like I don't know. It just I like it. All right. All right, so um, let me see. All right, so we're missing something. So this could already be done, but to me, it sounds empty. Like, listen. 
sounds good, but it's it sounds a bit empty. Like there's still stuff that needs to be filled in. See, you notice how that filled it in, and now it sounds more full. Like here's it. The, the what is it? A shaker. It helps. Hey, I, ha I have my own shakers too. Hold on, let me see if I can get it. We're getting there. We're getting there, y'all. But I'm gonna see if I can find a sound right now. Stairs, just like stairs on the left side, and I, I think I think that sounds good. All right. So just Start to finish. All right. So let's see what we got. Um, is it the it? All right. Let's see. For the drop, let me see if we can do this. So yeah, this is just like a little quick beat, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna just and yeah, so thank you guys for watching this uh, deadly be made of beats. Uh, I will put I'm gonna put it up on the market so you guys can feel free, you know, buy it, do whatever you want with it. And yeah, so I hope you guys and yeah, so stay tuned for the sample facts that, that are coming up. This is like a little sneak peek. Alright guys, so uh peace out. Alright, peace out. Yeah, you got it.